What's up everybody? It's Richard here at Gas Monkey Garage and I gotta tell you I got some exciting news for you. We have now partnered with HB Fuller and they have tasked us with the challenge to build the ultimate service work truck and they gave us creative license to do so. So I'm pretty excited because I got some crazy ideas up in my head. And what are they gonna do with this truck? Well, I'll tell you, they're gonna be tooling all around the United States and Canada, showing you all of the Gorilla Pro product line. Professional grade thread lockers, instant adhesives, sealants, and epoxies. This is a killer line of products. We use it here at the shop. I can't be more happy to be partnered with HB Fuller and Gorilla Pro. You're gonna wanna pay attention for the next six weeks because this is an unbelievable build. I'm really proud of it, and I hope you guys are gonna like it. What? I snuck up on me with the camera. So check this out. This is a 2022 loaded out, four wheel drive, badass Ford truck, basically unobtainable right now. And I was busting my rear, going through every website, every place I could find. I couldn't even pull a favor with Ford to get this truck to build for my new customer, Gorilla Pro. And I really wanted to do it. So I found this one, bam, I bought it. And you know what? I sent Chase out today to get another one. I sent him over to uh, Longview, Texas. Let's go see what he's got. Dun, dun, dun. Check it out. Almost the same truck, but a few better options. Got bucket seats and a console. It's got some better wheels and everything else. And more importantly, because I was so excited about finding one for sale that I bought it, this one's black, which is what my customer wanted. So now you got a black one, Gorilla Pro. Let's go to work. All right, right so on, right why'd on. you make me go get this and why do we have two? Well, because for the first time in my adult life, Maybe even my childhood, maybe even my toddler life. For the first time since I've been born, I made a mistake. It's the, not the first time. Oh no, this was the first time. Right. Uh, I was supposed to have a black one all along. Oh, so, so we gotta learn how to use that one. We gotta sell that one. We could build two side by side. This thing's rad. Yeah, full center console. It's way nicer than the other mirrors, one anyway. And power extending, so they go out. All right. No, I'm super cool with this, but I really did. I hate to admit it, but I absolutely screwed up and bought a white truck when I needed a black truck. All right, well, what if we can just build two of them. Well, there you go. That's the power of the monkey. Need a truck? You get one. Need another one? You get one. So Richard hit me up over the weekend and said he needs some ideas for the Gorilla Pro truck. So I have some really cool ideas in here, a lot of them, and uh, hopefully he likes it. So man, you wanted to talk about this Gorilla Pro truck? Oh yeah, I got some ideas, man. Let's go out there and we lay it out. Okay. Let's do it. A, I got you beat because this is rad. Slam, work truck, work bed. I like that. It's not bad. I mean, if we could go a more aggressive look, but with the work bed. Right. Look at those American forces all crammed in there. That's a lot of American force in there. That is. And then here's kind of a medium height. But of course, work bed, I couldn't find them. Right, yeah, no, those are hard to find. Um, I like it, but I, I think you're gonna like mine better. I think we go lifted, I think it fits the brand. Lifted? Yeah, we always go lowered. That's like, that's an idea. And then I got- That is some big ass wheels, how are they doing that? They're putting big ass wheels on a lot of things though. Those are big ass wheels. Or we can go any level. And so this thing moves up and down zero to 13. So any level. Yeah, it's any level. So you can literally go any level, zero to 13 inches. And so when we go crazy high like this, you can still go to a show and display their products and drop it down. I, I don't know, like, man. How are they going to get tools and stuff out of the bed? Just all you do is you hit the button for your phone and drop it down. I don't know. That's a lot of wheel and tire. And then going up and down. I mean, mm -hmm. you got to remember this is a marketing vehicle and you start sticking right. somebody in marketing in it. And then they're gonna be going up and down, doing oh, all kinds of craziness. Oh, it's super simple. These are these are what I got from American Force. These are brand new wheel designs. Ooh. So, and I'm thinking super singles up front, dualies in the rear. These are brand new, not even on the market yet. 
Can we get them? We can get them. He said week to cut, and we're, all they'd have to do is wait on adapters. Man, I don't know. Slammed. It's right there. They can reach in the compartments. I know, but sometimes you gotta go love too. Look. This gets you. This gets you both ways. High, I mean, I, low, I get in the middle. Yeah, I know. I get it. You're kind of right. It is a work vehicle. Uh, it's full, you know, bitching ass work truck. Right. And this is the so kind of bumper I'm thinking. Maybe like, like, okay. Damn it. So maybe like, like that work bed. Right. Work and bed like this one maybe. That one's from Douglas Truck Bodies. Now the bed will just pop on. We don't have to fabricate anything. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, because I don't want to do all of that. Yeah, no, that's too much work. I want to keep them, uh, you know, running and gunning, and they're going to want this like everybody else. Like yesterday. yesterday, you're right. Yeah, do a bumper like that. Do some, maybe some Morimoto headlights. Or we can do a bumper like this one. Well, we just want something, you know, kick ass front and back. It's going to have some lights. Well, we're going to lose the back. So yeah, we're going to lose the back. Up in the front, we're going to have some lights and stuff like that from Morimoto and all just done up. Right. And you think the any level lift, huh? I think any level. It, it is bulletproof. I mean, that, that screams more monkey to me. This is this is gorilla we're talking about, not monkey. Man, don't be don't be knocking the monk. Not that, I, the monkey's cool, but I think this is more gorilla. I get it. I Big, mean, broad. But that lift, man, is the only difference. And that thing I heard is is kind of pricey. It's kind of pricey, yeah. And it's like, and they only really want professional people in selling. Not that we're professional. Not professional. Not that we're not professional, but I lost you on professional. We're professional. Okay. But as you're sure of it. Nobody like you can't just order that and get it shipped to your driveway. They won't do it. Well you said you talk to American Force and then get them get us wheels. Mm -hmm. What about these dudes? For they animal? they're about six weeks out and the bed's about twelve. That ain't gonna work. You're gonna have to tighten that up if we go that way. Otherwise we gotta go this way. That stuff's on the shelves. We can see if we can tighten it up. All I do is call and see the availability. Man, I was really thinking low, but you're right. I mean, you're absolutely right. It should be big, and it should be... It's gotta be tough looking. That's the combo right there. All right, let me Blue see if I can tighten up that. Let me see if I can tighten up those deadlines. Kind of like this? Yeah, Little combo. I'll see if I can get Brandon to draw up a rendering real quick and see if maybe we can't have something nailed down by the end of the day. Okay, I don't want a whole bunch of like neon orange. I, mean, no, I know no, their no. colors are that orange and kind of that yellow. I don't want a whole bunch of that crap on it. It needs to be subtle and just have a, right. an attitude because it's going to have that big logo on it. And right. That needs to be about it. All right. So the million came back. It's already already more orange on the suspension, but that's just to show it because they were black bars. It didn't, they just blend it all together. But I think that's what I'm thinking. Okay. I don't like this logo. I think we, we color the big one and let it speak for itself. Well, I don't want to take away from their Gorilla Pro brand. I want to, because that just says Gorilla, HP Fuller. I don't want to take away from the Gorilla Pro because that's what we're trying to promote. Well, that's going to be a decision for them then. They're, okay. they're, they're marketing it. I just think it looks better with their big logo kind of tilted a little bit. Right. Uh, maybe we run it and run the logo down, or the wording down the side. All right, I'll show this to them and, and tell them this is kind of the idea and give them the same uh, excuse about the orange. I just don't hope they don't get all sold on the orange. That, yeah, don't sell them on the orange. I'm going to tell them the orange ain't happening. The orange is there to highlight it. Yeah. All right, cool. All Let right. me get it to them and uh, see what they say. All right, I'll see if I can do about parts. Yeah, I, I'm going to need an answer on that if they say go. Okay. Richard told me to get the baddest lift that we possibly could. I think this is what showed up today. So I think everybody's gonna be excited about this one. This one's super, super rad. It's a little hint. It's, it'll make the truck pretty much do any level it wants. What is this? That's your lift kit, man. Is it the whole thing? That's it. All 1,700 pounds of it. I would have thought that the arms were much longer. No, they all fit in the crate, man. Any level lift. Any level lift. So Aaron over any level hooked us up. This is the baddest lift kit you can get. Oh, I know. You show me pictures of it. It goes all up and down and stuff. Yeah. It's going to be insane. Well. It's going to be a showstopper for sure. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. I mean, yeah. these guys are uh, paying us to do it, do it right. So I say get the right stuff. If you say this is it, then this any is... level lift it is. Yeah, and I think uh, they're going to come out and help us install it because I heard through the grapevine that the instructions were... Uh, 175 pages long. So 
We're gonna try well, they to like to out. have themselves install it all the time anyways. They don't really like to send a lift kit out. Yeah, because there's so many components to it that they just really want everything to be perfect. And plus, if it's, if it's leaking at the show, because it is hydraulic, so if it's leaking at the show, then it's their name. So they'd rather, if it's going to be their name, they'd rather take the blame for it. All right. Well, no reason to open it until we get a few more parts and start this truck build. Absolutely not. So park it somewhere where nobody will jack with it. I know how you mechanics are. You want to take things out of the box and start playing with them. All right. So this truck is definitely going to be like up my wheelhouse for sure. This is what I love to do. And this will probably be the baddest truck I've ever built. So I'm super stoked for it. I hope Gorilla Pros is super stoked for it. They've kind of gave me creative control over it between me and Richard. So we're gonna build something that's gonna shut the show down. All right, so any levels coming next week, we are going to help them prep. Uh, we're gonna pull the bed. Since we're changing that anyway, we're gonna pull the bed off. Um, we have to ship them the gearbox and the drop, front drive shaft. So we're gonna knock that out today and then later this week, we're gonna strip it all the way down just to, to basically to a bare frame with a body on it. And uh, that way it's prepped and ready for them when they come here on Monday next week. And we can just rock and roll. All Only got 2,000 miles on it. Uh, we'll reposition it on the lift to get it to where we can, it'll sit on the lift for about two weeks. And then uh, we'll pull the gearbox and the front drive shaft and we'll get those overnighted to today. Didn't Richard have some like odd idea yeah, for what he wanted to do with got it? This weird idea is infatuated with wanting to spend the night here one night. I can hey, tell you it's not fun. Hey, Richard had one of those Mach 5 beds from Toys R Us when he Fisher was showing Price, us. The Fisher Price ones. Well, yeah. now he wants the adult version. Yeah. He wants us to make this into his bed next door in his area. Whether we do that or not, I don't know. I would just sell it because he'll never spend the night here. It's not fun. Oh, I've yeah. done it. So I'm thinking this is probably, I have to dip, break out a tape measure, but I'm pretty sure this is just about right height. So I think it's pretty cool. It's 2,000 from new. It's only 2,000 because if you're ever looking for a truck right now, you know how hard it is to find a truck, especially a black dually is almost impossible. We're gonna pull the gearbox so that any level can tap it. We have to pull the inner liners anyway for the lift. So we're gonna get the inner liner out of our way and then get to that gearbox, all the lines and the steering wheel up there. All right, so we'll have to pull the pitman arm and then we can clean it up and ship it off to any level. We gotta pull the front drive shaft next, but clean up my mess. Please. Front drive shaft. Pretty much have to pull the rear axle, the front axle, all the springs, shocks, sway bars, leaf springs, all, everything. Everything has to come out. We're gonna end up pulling the exhaust because we have a new exhaust coming from Magnaflow, um, a DPF back exhaust. So we'll pull that out. We gotta pull the spare tire out. What's gonna be, what's gonna be left on nothing, the frame? Nothing really. It's the, the cab, the cab, and the motor and train. Uh, that's about it. So yeah, we're gonna pretty much have nothing but half a truck kind of resemble that bus all over again don't you put that evil on me ricky bobby don't you put that on us I 
this covers the gas tank. Yep. <laughs> So it's great, it's great working on something brand new. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Nothing dirty except for the tools we get out of our toolbox. Nothing dirty, Nothing except dirt. for you. Nothing dirty. Hey, see these? They've been gone on vacation for a long time. We got pretty much everything pulled off from the, underneath the truck. We are going to strip the axle, the front axle down to pretty much just the bare axle other than the rotors and everything like that. Um, and then the rear axle, we have to cut the shock tabs and the brake tabs off of and grind those smooth and paint them. So we'll paint both of the axles while they're out. And then we're pretty much gonna wait till Monday when any level shows up and uh, we're gonna knock it out. All right, so any level should be here any minute, and then uh, we should be ready to rip and put this lift kit on. Brandon? Yep, Brandon. Joe? Joe, nice to meet you, Joe, man. For sure. So this is it. That's the truck. Nice. Awesome. Should we get after it or what? Let's do it. <laughs>